Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Alright, today we have another huge Dollar Tree haul. Um, oh my goodness, so many wonderful new items. And of course, like always, I'm going to start with my most favorite thing, which is, wow, <laughs> these patriotic farm trucks. I love these. And they gave us four different options, which I, just, I can't even believe it. So first off, you've got the blue one, USA, and you've got three stars in the background. There is a lot of glitter, so very glittery. That one, you have the red with the American flag in the back. Love it. Look at this truck. I love this so much. Okay, so you have these two right here. But then they also did a blue one with the flag in the back and a red one with the stars. So it's like you have four different options of what you want to do and I love them. These are a great size. These have to be like 12 to 13 inches. I mean these are a good foot long but these are going to be so great on a wreath like a like a big old like patriotic wreath. These are going to be so great. You could set these out like as table decor, hang them up. You could um, frame these and make like a big picture out of them. But I love these. Okay. All right. So I got these four. And then they had these. I mean, I love these trucks. Last year I did a few different DIYs using these trucks. But look at that. Okay, this one says God Bless America. And you've got the red truck. And if you don't remember these from last year, they're raised, like it's almost like 3D. All this, all, all the fenders, the bumpers, everything is like, it's puffy. So I love it. So you got the red one and the blue one. They didn't do blue last year. At least my stores did not have blue last year. Only the red, but this one says welcome with the blue truck. So you have these. And then I also found the blue truck on the stake. Like last year, that was the red truck on the stake. This year, I found the blue one. So, I love these. And I want to show you one of the DIYs that we did last year using the truck sign. Look, I love this one. This one right here was my favorite last year. We also did like a picture frame one, which is still packed away. I haven't brought out my, like my patriotic stuff yet. But I had this one hanging in my office. But I love that. And this is using one of these trucks from last year. So like I said, last year we had red, this year we'll do some blue ones, but look at that. So if you're interested, if you're interested in this DIY, I'll link the video down in the description and at the very end, and I'll also link the other one that we did together last year. But these, I'm telling you, these truck signs, look for them, they're incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with like the new patriotic signs I found and then we'll kind of move on to everything else, but, I mean, look at this one. This one is new. This one is home of the free because of the brave. Look at all the fireworks and the home. Home free and brave are glitter. Look at that. This is a really great sign. And then I love this one. Look at that. The Statue of Liberty with the American flag and all the fireworks going off. Look at the coloring. I love the colors they did. So this is another great one. And then this one too, bold stripes, bright stars, brave hearts. Look at that. I love it. Once again, love the coloring. Love that they did that light blue mixed in with it with the navy. So that is really great. Um, the border on this is glitter. And then some of the little fireworks and the little star is glitter. But these signs are perfect. Now this one right here, this one is a repeat but I love it so much. I love the dog tag look of it. Um, the USA with the three stars. To me, this sign is perfect. You can hang this on your door. You can add you a big bow to it. You can attach this to a wreath, like a big, large wreath. Um, it's just, it's perfect. I love this one right here. You could just hang this, you know, in your living room or your kitchen somewhere. It is great. Love it. So I got that one. Um, I just grabbed three stars from the crafter square section. So just three basic stars that we're probably gonna paint up and do something with. <laughs> so remember, um, 
this is May. You know, May is Memorial Day and just the summer kickoff, which to me is very patriotic and fireworks and summer nights. And so lots of like patriotic decor is coming up too. So make sure that you're subscribed. Okay, so those. I found these and I don't remember these from last year. Look at these, look at these thick stars. These will like stand up. So you could just put these like on a console, you know, your table, your entryway anywhere. But look how cute these are. And I'm almost thinking about doing like a huge like garland, like around our front door of like patriotic. So I may do a video on that if I, <laughs> if I find time to do it. But um, yeah, I'm thinking like a huge just garland of just patriotic decor. So I thought about like maybe adding some of these to it. But if not, these will like go just kind of propped around the house somewhere. But I love these. And Hobby Lobby had something very similar for almost $3 a star, where these are a dollar star. I grabbed this cute little bottle. Look at the bottle with the red farm truck and the, the flag in the back. It says 1776 with the stars on the door. I love it. And like we all love drinking out of like straws. So the kids are all kind of hooked. Well, Presley's hooked on iced coffee right now. So I figured she could use this in the mornings. But this cup is so cute. You know, I'm I'm a sucker for the farm truck. I really am. <laughs> that. Um, this sign to me is new. I don't remember this one from last year. But you've got the very, very glittery American flag. And you got the USA. You could keep this as is. You could take this apart. This star is perfect tear tray size. So if you're gonna do like a patriotic tear tray. Um, you pop this on there. You could redo these stars if you wanted. You could pop these stars off, put them in a three tier tray. You could add these to a wreath. So very cute. You do as is or paint them up. Mod Podge, some like patriotic scrapbook paper on them. But I love this. There's so many different options that you could do with this. So. <laughs> I feel like the cutest and neatest like little this is a cutlery set, but look at that. It's like little wooden, They're like little wooden spoon, fork, and knives, but look at them. You got the red, white, and stripes, the blue stars. You got this one. I thought these would be really cute in a tear tray, you know? Now, I don't think I would want to eat with this kind of wood, <laughs> but let's see, let's open it. Because do you remember as a kid eating the little ice creams that came with a little wooden spoon and you drug that across your tongue? <laughs> but I just look at that. This will be so cute. I'm telling you, if you love tear trays as much as I do or decorate like a coffee bar area, look at that. These are going to be so great just to kind of like display and use. You know, you could do something like that. You could just put them down into a coffee mug. Look at that. Love it. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree gets better every year. Every holiday, it's like they're getting better and better. So I love it. That. I found this really cute headband. Look at that. This is really, really cute. They kind of like link into each other. I like that. So cute. A little stretchy little headband. Either um, me or Presley can wear this for like 4th of July. So like that. They also had scrunchies. You get a solid navy blue scrunchie. And then this one is like, you know, the American flag, patriotic. Take that off there. So cute. And you know, like the younger girls, they love to wear it on their wrist. <laughs> but see, look how cute that is. Pull your hair back some, put your little American flag scrunchie in. You'll be too cute. And I'm always, I'm someone who always has like a ponytail holder or a scrunchie on my wrist because all this hair after a while really gets on my nerves. <laughs> but, all right, more new stuff that I'm telling you is perfect for crafts and perfect for tear trays. So first off is a wind chime. Okay, so you get this little wind chime. They give you the red, white, and blue paint. And of course it has little chimes and y'all know I've got my wind chime out front. So every once in a while you'll hear it through my videos, but I thought this, look at that. Oh, beautiful America. 
this to me is perfect tier tray size. So when I saw this, I had to have it because I know I'm going to paint this up and it's going to go on a tier tray. But I love it. And y'all, and I've got like six tier trays that I decorate. <laughs> so I need lots of cute little things from the Dollar Tree. So that one right there. Okay. They also had this one, which is another wind chime, but it's fireworks. Look at that. That is going to be so cute. Paint it up. Look at that. Once again, display this like on a tear tray, a shelf, you know, whatever you have that you love to decorate. Okay, that's going to be so cute. Or paint it up and use it as a wind chime. This is perfect for like kids and grandkids, kind of keep them busy, little, little projects to do. But I love this for my tear tray. Then they have a color your own decor and it's the United States. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is going to be perfect. Once again, to your tray or to frame this out, to paint this up, or you could Mod Podge on here. You could paint it and like write home. Um, you could find your state. Like I'm, I'm Kentucky. I could do like a little bitty heart and write like home in cursive or something. And then like put like a frame, like do like a reverse canvas with it. But I love that. Once again, they give you markers, but you could paint this or anything like, like I said. But look at that. Um, and this is about the size of my hand, you know, and I don't have little hands. <laughs> so this is a really good size. Like I said, this is also just perfect tear tray size. That one. Um, okay, if you cannot find the little wind chime, they also had it in this bigger one. Like, I found these at two different stores, so I kind of forgot what I had grabbed. But this is a, once again, the color your own. And it says the Oh Beautiful America, just like the little one. But then I also found this one. It's um, USA Freedom. So let's open this. Yeah, look. Once again, that mason jar. I love it. Um, you know, like I said, you can make this into like a reverse canvas, frame it out, paint it, um, just kind of prop this up. You could put like a little kickstand on the back and just put it on your, like a console somewhere, like on a shelf in your kitchen. But so cute. Then I found, okay, y'all know I love Dollar Tree window clings. Um, I have not seen any patriotic ones yet or any several ones, so I'm still kind of on the hunt for that. But I did find, it's um, paper trays. You get six of these, just says paper trays. But look at that. You could cut all of these out and make a DIY with it. Like make you yeah, like your own little craft with it. Love that. Well, look at that star. Look at this right here. Love it. Um, you also have the farm truck. Um, I love to decorate with my mom's Scrabble. So I do Scrabble tiles on a lot of my stuff. So you could cut these out, like your own little Scrabble tiles. You know, do something like that. So these are great. Like I said, we won't probably eat off these. Or we may eat off some, but I'm going to use one to probably like craft with. Okay, and then kind of like the last like patriotic thing that I found, I have um, in a basket over here. It's not laying down, it's in the basket. I found a flag kit. Oh my goodness, this is an American flag kit. All right, you get the poles, you get the bracket, and you get the screws, and you can attach this to your home. How wonderful is this for a dollar? Oh my goodness. Okay, on our house, like on our garage, we have a huge American flag. I thought this would be perfect like on our mailbox or like in our backyard. So I got this right here and I love it so much. Let's open this up and see what this looks like. Um, it says the flag is 30 and a quarter inches by 16 and a quarter inches. So that is a really good size flag. Oh my gosh <laughs> look how nice a dollar oh it blows my mind how amazing Dollar Tree is 
But look at that, $1 and you get the whole entire kit to attach this to your home. Like I said, this one, I don't realize how big this is. <laughs> I mean, I thought this was gonna go on our mailbox, but geesh, I don't know. But wow, I'm telling you, look, look for that right there. I mean, this is worth more than a dollar. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna carefully put this flag back up. Okay, so I'm gonna sit this back here. Okay, so that's it for all the patriotic stuff that I found this time. I then, I then I always look like in the, in the teacher square section and I found, look at these beehives with little bees. So if y'all are decorating like this summer with like bees and lemons and all that kind of stuff, look how cute these are. And you get 10 of them in here. So you could very easily, look at that, it says go team, but it gives you the, the outline, the shape. So you could very easily paint over that. Um, you could cut that shape out and attach it to something. You've got the cute little bees that you could cut those out and Mod Podge onto something and make your own little sign. But like I said, you get 10 of them and this is in the teacher section. But I just thought that was great for like crafting possibilities. Right. Then I grabbed, it's, um, it's a map of the United States. Can you see that? Oh, wrong way. You see that right there? This is, does it say how big it is? Okay, it does not say how big this is, but I can open it up to show you. But I thought, how great, how great would this be like in an office, you know? Like in your home office or like um, if you have like a kid's playroom or, you know, a kid's bedroom if they're really into like adventure and kind of stuff. Just, or if you are homeschooling right now, you know, with everything going on, a lot of people are homeschooling more and a lot of, you know, a lot of schools are still, you know, online only. So, let's see. Okay. <laughs> if I can open it up. <laughs> yeah, but I just thought, and you could probably even, because it's bright colored, you know, I'm curious. So if you know, I'm, I'm really curious. If you could almost like tea stain this, you know, like take tea bags or like a tea soaked rag or like coffee or something to like age it, you know, but okay. Oh my gosh, this looks huge. <laughs> All right, I have a feeling this is gonna cover the whole entire thing. So here we go. <laughs> wow, I mean, this is huge. This has gotta be at least three feet. Look at that. This, I'm telling you, this would be so great. Like in an office, a playroom, a kid's room. Um, like I said, your homeschool classroom. This is perfect. You could frame this out. You could always take foam board from Dollar Tree and they do it to where like they cut it in whatever size you want and then you stain it and paint it however to make it look like wood and then you could frame it out with something like that. But this has so much like potential so, and I'm really curious, so if you know, if you could like tea stain, I don't know if you do coffee, but like a tea stain just to age it somehow, but that is really cool. Or if you have a kid that's like into like pirates, I mean like you have a map and stuff. <laughs> okay, so the next amazing brand new find, never seen before, are these little bitty Pots of greenery, look at that. This, once again, tear tray, um, shelves. Any shelves you decorate, look how perfect this is right here. Look at that greenery, love it. All of this right here is $1. It's wrapped in little burlap. Um, it's got the little green, like little foam block in there. So even if you don't like the burlap, you could take it out, pop it into like one of the the little terracotta pots or something from Dollar Tree. All the cute little like planners they have, all the little animal planners. <laughs> animal planners that they have. But love that one. And then they also had this one. It kind of looks like a boxwood. But this is great. It's only it's just called a greenery pot. It's green briar. So hopefully, hopefully every store will get these. But I love them. And once again, this is gonna go on my tier trays because I love adding like greenery for warmth on my trays. 
that. But I'm telling you, yeah, any little shelf or something you have, your window seal, perfect. Yeah. I then found these little like succulent shadow boxes. So of course, you know, Presley's probably gonna have taken these. <laughs> the child's got so many succulents in her bedroom, but look at that. So it came in the square white and the triangle white, but they also had it in like this dark wood color. Once again, triangle and a square. But th these are perfect to decorate with. And I almost, just like me, always kind of like thinking of what I could do. Like looking at this one, if you turn it over, you could paint this to look like a slice of watermelon. You know, so if you're gonna do like a watermelon to your tray or like watermelon decor for Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> for summer, if you're gonna do watermelon for summer, I mean, it's a triangle. You just paint this, you know, like a pinkish red, do some green down here, little black seeds, and it'll look like a slice of watermelon. So these are great. All right, so the next brand new find that I've never seen at my stores before, and I was shocked, and I walked past them three times because I didn't see them because they were in the floor in a huge box. So you look everywhere, but oh, <laughs> look at this. This is huge. This really is. Um, it does not, it doesn't say like how many ounces or anything it is, but look how big this is. And like, you can't just pull it off. Hold on, it's taped. I <laughs> say that it's taped. Okay. All right, so it was taped on. So there is, there's no suction. So it's not gonna keep like cookies fresh, you know, unless like, unless like you have something that's like individually wrapped, it's gonna go still. But look how great these are. You could paint this lid any color you want. Like you could like spray paint this black. You could do like a gold or a silver, um, red. Like for my strawberry decor in my kitchen, I could spray paint the lid red and then put like whatever in here. But these are perfect. Um, birthday parties, graduation parties, weddings, whatever you have coming up. Uh, Presley will, oh my gosh. <laughs> my baby will graduate high school next year. So how cute would this be is like to do like a candy bar or something at her graduation party or, you know, whatever in here. Like we could even do chips because it's just for the day, you know, have like chips or peanuts or whatever in here. But I grabbed three of these because, so I did, I went ahead, I grabbed three of these. That way you can like sit them like this, like right next to each other. <laughs> that don't look right. <laughs> Let me hold about this way. <laughs> but I mean, they're so big and so nice in the bottom. So the bottom's flat, so you can sit it like this. But it's also flat here, to I guess if you wanted like a sideways type thing. But this is also great like in a craft room. So if you're someone that has like a bunch of different beads or buttons or you know paints, whatever you want, you could also put them into here. So perfect. Then I found ta -da, <laughs> the bees. I'm telling you what, Dollar Tree, they know what's in style and they know what we like. So this says, be happy. And that's like my motto, be happy. Cheese Louise, be kind, be happy. But look at those bees, that beautiful flower. I love this. You could very easily, like, you know, like all the, the tall, like holiday welcome signs that they do for every holiday. You could very easily add this to one of them, add you a bow at the top or something, but very cute. Or cut these bees out and Mod Podge it onto your own thing. But this is great. I found some more lemons. <laughs> I just grabbed two more packs of lemons because we just did that lemon wreath. So I used a lot of my lemons on that wreath that we made together. So I just grabbed you know, two more packages. I found this amazing basket at Dollar Tree. I was shocked when I found this. And honestly, it's perfect timing for me because my husband, we have his little tricycle from when he was a little boy. His mom had it in the garage all these years. So for the last couple of years, you know, we've had it and I use it for Halloween. 
So if you saw like my fall outside decorate with me, like I put a skeleton on it. <laughs> like it's a little skeleton riding his tricycle. Well this year, when I saw this basket, I'm gonna zip tie this to the handlebars of his little tricycle and I'm gonna put flowers in it. So um, when I do my outside, I'll show you that. So this will be attached to his tricycle full of flowers and probably like a little American flag popped in here. <laughs> so I love it. Um, I think <laughs> I think my stores have finally cleaned out their stock room because they had crosses. They had all kinds of these cross wreath forms. So I don't know if these were like from Easter that they never got to, but I was excited to find this. So I got the cross wreath, but they also had a wheel. Have you seen this yet? Look at that. I thought it was a wagon wheel, but they're calling it a bicycle wreath. Bicycle wheel wreath ring, 14 inches. So I thought, oh my goodness, how cute would this be? You could leave it this color. You could spray paint it like red or blue for 4th of July. You could spray paint it yellow for like a lemon or bee decor. Add you a bunch of like greenery and flowers over here and like a big bow. That would be so pretty. And we will do something like that together. I just have to decide like which one, which one I wanna do. So help me decide, would you rather see like a patriotic or would you rather see like something with like lemons and like a bee or something? But I love this. And like I said, it's 14 inches. Okay, and this is something that they had last year and they brought back out, it's the letter boards. So if you were trying to find these last year, they're back. So they have the black with the silver. You get 50 letters. These are great. Last year, like with my lemon and strawberry decor, I put on um, Raised on Sweet Tea and Jesus on mine, and I had it like on my little shelves. So, so cute. And they also have it in a gray and a white. I love these. These are perfect. The kids have them. The kids like them in their rooms too. They're just fun to decorate with, you know, because every day if you want, you can change what it says. And um, for birthdays, you can be like, happy birthday, so-and-so, or little messages like in the morning like I love you have a great day but these are perfect you put them in the bathroom wash your hands <laughs> take a seat you can do like wash your hands or like like take a seat or best seat in the house like above your toilet <laughs> so I just I love this kind of stuff because you can make it say whatever you want it to say okay so my stores they haven't got in the new fairy like I think it's like a, a beachy type scene yet but I did find, look right there. It's a little beehive with a bee. You see that? I'm gonna take it out. But yeah, I'm still looking for like the beach scene. But look at this. Look at that. Look at that little bitty bee right there. That is so cute, like a little beehive. Like I said, if you're decorating with bees and stuff this year, that is just so cute to add to something. <laughs> it's so tiny, but when I saw that little bee, I was like, okay, that's cute. Okay, it's probably silly but that I bought this, but I've only seen this at one store. And you know yourself, when you're looking and need something, you can't find it. So <laughs> I went ahead and I picked up Congrats Grad in the Goad for Presley. Like I said, next year, 2022, she'll graduate high school and Riley will graduate middle school. So it's like when we do our two little parties for them, I already have it because I know when I want this next year, I won't be able to find it. So I just went ahead and grab these and I will hold these in my office until I need them. Okay, more new stuff. <laughs> they had um, like pop sockets, like expandable phone grip and stand. They had it in, look at that blue little pineapple. They had a pineapple, they had my golden girls, they had the palm leaves, and then they also had these flamingos. These are so cute. I got three because I figured I'll take one and then Presley can, you know, if she wants one, she can have it. Um, Riley, he could always put a sticker over top of the flamingos or something, you know. But let's see. Yeah, they didn't really have any like 
masculine ones. Like Rally, he's not gonna want <laughs> one of these, but like I said, he could always stick, you know, a Avenger sticker or a Batman sticker or Fortnite sticker on it. Okay. Oop, upside down. But look at that. Look how cute that little pop socket is. Um, see that? Oop. Ah. I d okay. It's great. I love the idea. I don't know how many, <laughs> how long it's going to last. But for a dollar, and it's cute, say, and what you do is, I film with my phone so I can't show you, but this just sticks to the back of your phone, and you can put your fingers there, and you can hold it. So a lot of times, like, you know, because I used to have one, but it broke, but uh, like walking around the grocery store, like I could do this, just hold it in between my fingers. Um, if you're trying to film something, you know, it kind of gives you like a little grip, you can do that. Um, <laughs> I'm so warm when I get nervous. I like to fiddle with things. So like I would kind of like take it in and out, kind of kind of help with like anxiety a little bit. But um, you just pull it off and it's sticky. So, but they're cute. Okay, and then we found the cutest rubber duckies. <laughs> they are Disney rubber duckies. And what if you told me that you do like a, like duck a Jeep? Like you like put ducks all over people's Jeeps, which I think is the cutest idea. So I'm still looking for you. Um, I know that Target Dollar Spot also sells these for a dollar, but they are adorable. Look, so there is Tigger as a duck. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Oh, uh, they have Ariel, the little mermaid, like her little tail. That is so cute. Of course, you have to have Minnie Mouse. And with Minnie, you have to have Mickey. So these, love these. These two are my favorite. You know, always Mickey and Minnie for huge Disney World fans. So that. And then we found, <laughs> look at Donald Duck. Look at his eyes. Cause you know, he was always like, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> but look how cute he is, <laughs> little sailor. And then the last one was Pooh. So you have, you know, the Tigger and Pooh. So cute, love these. And then Presley also grabbed, um, I don't think I said this right, some, 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 or Sum Sum. <laughs> it's Disney. But she, whoop, she found a little stuffed Minnie Mouse. Gosh, I can't hold on to it. And she got a stitch. She loves stitch. So she got stitch also. But these are so cute. And she had this when, I had to go take this out of her room. She had it like in one of, she has a snake plant in her room. And it was just kind of like, Pop it out for a little snake plant. But yeah, she loves all this little stuff like on her, like on her vanity. She has these little things just kind of sitting around. I grabbed just one food item, but then again, <laughs> it's not really food. They have Members Mark, which is Sam's. It's a Sam's Club brand. Members Mark chocolate protein shake. Once again, this is 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, one sugar. Um, and 25 vitamins and minerals, um, only two carbs. So once again, I grabbed this for Rally to try to see if he likes the chocolate. Cause he really, he likes the strawberry. So I thought I would grab chocolate for him to try too. And I tell you what, for a dollar a piece, if he likes it, I'll, just, I'll get him a bunch of them. But so curious for him to try this one. I grabbed some ponytail holders. So these are the ones I use, um, just the medium hair, just your normal stretchy little ponytail holder. You get 15 by the green go <laughs> by goodie. But then for Presley, she wears this size. Look how big this ponytail holder is. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just dangly. So I've got a lot of hair. You see all this hair, but it's not thick. Like I just have like normal, normal hair. Her hair, it's longer than mine. And so thick. I swear she has like a horse mane. She has thick, it used to be curly. Now it's more just kind of wavy, but just thick, long, wavy hair. And when she wants to do a ponytail or a bun, her hair is so thick and heavy, she has to use these right here. And sometimes she has to use two of them. So, but you get 10 of the thick hair ones. So yeah, you see the difference in our ponytails. <laughs> So these are, when I can find the name brand, especially these large ones for her, I always grab them. 
I grab some, this is for her. I grab some micellar cleansing water for Bath and Beauty, cleans and hydrates all in one. So I got this because you know like when you're putting on your mascara, like sometimes you'll kind of get it down here or I'll get on my eyelid. Well, it's like I dip a Q-tip in it and then like I get the excess. Well, she does the same thing. So she comes into my room and like does it. So I figured to get her own and she can keep it on her vanity. So I just got this. I don't, it just says Bath and Beauty. I don't really know like a name brand of it. But I just thought she could try that one. The one I have is Freeman that I also bought at Dollar Tree when they had it in. Um, I bought this Pawns. So I use the Dove. I use the Dove cream just like this every single night before I go to bed, like under my eyes. So, and I really like it. It's very moisturizing. So I thought I would try Pawns. Because I remember as a kid, my mom always used Pawns Code Cream. Like she'd always have Pawns Code Cream on her face. So when I saw this, I remembered my mom using it. So I got that one. I grabbed a Glade Hawaiian Breeze. This smells so good. I love to have like one in the bathroom. So like you can either like put it on the back of your toilet, you can put it like down on the floor, maybe tuck behind like a shower curtain so you don't see it, but you get that nice smell. So I got that one. Like I said, Hawaiian Breeze. I grabbed some 40, <laughs> you get 40 bags. It's a four gallon vanilla scent but I thought this would be perfect for like the little garbage cans in the bathrooms, you know, <laughs> versus using like a Dollar Tree bag or a Walmart bag. I figured I'd get these and try this in the little garbage cans. Cause it says four gallons. So, you know, that seems like it'd be small enough for it. And you get 40 of them. So that, okay. I still have some good stuff over here, but <laughs> all right, I'm a sucker. I swear, every Dollar Tree hauler that I watch, they all talk about, about the LA Total Awesome, the cleaner. They all talk about it. They all recommend how much they love it. So, I bought it. I thought I would try it. So, it's LA, LA's Totally Awesome. But look at this bottle. I mean, I thought this was like really like kind of high-end looking, you know? This is the Daily Shower. It says, works on contact, fresh scent. So I guess like, you know, right after your shower, just spritzing all the walls down. So I got that, but then I also got the normal one, the LA's Totally Awesome Bathroom Cleaner. Uh, once again, it's Fresh Scent, Soap Scum, Mode and Mildew Remover. So like I said, every YouTuber that I watch rec highly recommends this stuff. So, I mean, for a dollar each, it's worth a try. You know, we'll see if it works. But yeah, so and like I said, <laughs> the bottles are really nice. Okay, and the last few things I grabbed, one is pins. <laughs> You're like boring, but look how pretty. The pink, purple, and the green. Love these colors. They're right black, because I feel like I'm always trying to find a pin around here. So I just got that. But look at these memo pads. I love them. I'm a sucker. Anytime I see ones that I like, I bet. <laughs> because I love having them on the refrigerator. I love making my grocery list. If um, there's something at Dollar Tree, like I'm trying to hunt down, I'll make sure like I jot stuff down really quick. It has the magnet. Okay, we're gonna open this up so you can see it better. But look at that. And y'all, <laughs> I can't remember if I already showed you this like last week or so. I can't remember if I already showed you this, but if not, I'm showing <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> oh, my memory is horrible. But uh, cause I bought this a couple weeks ago and it's just kind of been sitting in my craft room and I kept forgetting about it. But it says barbecue, like in the marquee lights. But look at that. Look at the little lemonade. You got your ketchup and mustard. Love this. It always reminds me of a picnic, but I love it. It says freshly squeezed lemonade. But I thought this would be perfect for like July and August barbecues. So I got that one. This one says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And it's got the lemons all over it. Look how cute. Um, hello, sweet summer. There's your watermelon. So perfect. If you're gonna decorate with watermelon, look how cute. Once again, magnetic. I grabbed this one for Presley. Um, it's the little things in life, but it, look at that. So she loves greenery, she loves cactus, 
succulents. I just thought this would be cute for her to have in her room. Um, once again, it's magnet. And then this one is from my beautiful friends, Kim and Amanda. They sent me the strawberries because they know that I do strawberry decor. And it says, enjoy sunny days. So this one is from Kim and Amanda. So thank you so much. But I love it. <laughs> Look at that. And we just did a strawberry Dollar Tree tear tray together. So I'm about to like start decorating everything up with like strawberries and lemons and bees. So this will go on the refrigerator. I love it. Look at the strawberries. And if you're somebody who wants to do like some strawberries, look at that. You could always get this because you get a bunch of pages and you could always like cut you a couple out and modpodge it onto something, you know, and then, but you still have the rest of your notebook to use. Okay. But that is it. <laughs> I mean, so many wonderful new items at Dollar Tree. And I tell you, there is still stuff I am waiting on. Waiting on like for my stores to get like a lot of the new stuff that I've been seeing like at other people's. But I am so excited for everything that I found. And of course, you know, I love those farm trucks. So I cannot wait to make, you know, like a huge wreath using those farm trucks. And then also this wheel. So give me some ideas. Like what would you like to see me do with this one? And like I said, I could spray paint it red. I could do blue. I could do white. I could do yellow and we could do something, or I could keep it this color. Um, I could actually keep it this color and do one thing, and then I could always like redo it and like spray paint it something else. Yeah, so I'm just telling you, when you go to Dollar Tree, look for this flag kit because it's amazing. I mean, it's almost three feet long. It's 30 inches. You saw how big it was when I opened it, but you just, you get everything with it. You know, the only thing you need is a screwdriver. So this is perfect. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you're interested in seeing any of the DIYs that we've kind of talked about doing, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that when you hit subscribe, you ring the bell and hit all. That way you're not notified just for Dollar Tree hauls. Um, you know, you kind of get like all the crafts, DIYs, that kind of stuff. But I am so excited, excited for all of the upcoming crafts and DIYs we're doing together. Like I said, we just did a bunch of strawberry stuff, which I'll link down below for you. And at the end of this video, I'll link it for you. But I've got like lemons and bees and more strawberries, um, wreaths, like door hangers. <laughs> so I just got so much stuff coming up and like patriotic, you know, I love it. I've got some, some things that's patriotic, but it also could be like Americana. So if you're into Americana, um, but yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.